Casey, Slonina, to Real Madrid at 18 years old. Good idea or bad idea for the young prospect? I think some of it really depends on what Real Madrid plans for him uh, because, you know, obviously he, he's not stepping into the first team. So is there an idea that he plays for Real Madrid's second team? Is there an idea that he plays out on loan somewhere? Does he loan? I mean, I'm hearing rumors that he's loaned back to Chicago for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you look at the situation with a good young goalkeeper with a European passport, uh, it doesn't surprise me that clubs are are, are looking to to secure his future. Uh, when when you're looking to see what the transfer fees are for players now, if you can get somebody young, get them into a system, get them into in just on your books. I mean, let's look at Chelsea for example, who was another team that was supposedly interested. Um, they had, I think, was it 47 players on loan last year to different teams <laughs> around Europe. So it's understand a young player going to a big club doesn't necessarily mean you're going to that club. Mm. Bear with me for a second, guys. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> now, I, I understand that going to Real Madrid, linking your name your brand to Real Madrid is a win. Just by osmosis, I understand that. But he needs to develop, he needs to play. He's gonna go to Real Madrid Castilla, the most likely scenario. That is their second team that Casey was talking about. That is like the third tier in Spain and they only play amongst other reserve teams. And it's almost a semi-professional setup, if you will, from, from my understanding. Uh, so it's not exactly a recipe for him to step into first team minutes. He's not gonna go over Thibaut Courtois. Thibaut Courtois is 30 years <laughs> old and he just happened to win a Champions League. So that's gonna go out the window. Will he get loaned to a mid-table team elsewhere in Europe, like Casey says, or even back to Chicago Fire? Chicago Fire right now aren't exactly killing it. He's not exactly developing the correct way. Maybe he's gonna learn from these lumps. Absolutely. But he needs to go somewhere where he can develop further in his pedigree and do well and play. I don't see that being the case with a team like Real Madrid. And we see this so many times and you just touched upon Chelsea. I mean, we've seen Matt Miazga. We've seen Ulises Davila. We've seen so many players go through there mm. into that Chelsea setup and in elsewhere. And all of a sudden are in Australia with all due respect. So it, <laughs> it needs to be a situation where he can play one and two continue to develop. Well, Herc, mm. not only that, I mean, you look at what Chelsea paid for Pulisic and he's still been in and out. So exactly. we'll talk about not just a kid. So yeah, it's a, it is, I agree with you hundred percent. I think it's really important that whatever move is made, there has to be an idea on playing and developing mm. and being somewhere where you can play. Cause let's be honest. There's not a lot of 18 year old goalkeepers playing in top leagues around the world. No. So yeah. if you're going to go somewhere, you got to go somewhere where they know they need somebody and that you're going to have the opportunity to play. But then in the end, uh, you have to prove again that, that you deserve to play at that age. Like I said, very few. There's a reason for that because so much of goalkeeping is decision making and you only get good at decision making by having to make those decisions under pressure so you have to be good enough where they respect that you can play but then they also understand that there's going to be issues with playing you so yeah it's a it's a tough task casey i, I get it from a player standpoint especially like a teenager it's a very hard very hard to say no to real madrid um let's say he goes and he goes down the, the Matt Miazga route, like that loan after loan after loan, but, but getting European experience. Would that be better or worse, you think, than, than staying in MLS and continuing to develop in the American game? I think some of it depends, again, on the situation at that club. I mean, are you going to Belgium, Holland, uh, or are you playing, are you able to play at a mid-table, lower-table team in Bundesliga or La Liga itself, or, or you know, are you with a passport? It opens up to maybe even playing a, a tough 50 games uh, in the English Championship. So, I mean, there's a lot of options available, but you have to really, you really have to, to speak with whoever is, you know, if it is a Real Madrid, you know, what's the plan? And, and, mm. and is this, yes, to your point, how do you turn down Real Madrid? It, yeah. You know what you're saying. I mean, as an 18 year old kid, but there has to be more to it. There has to be more of a thought process other than just 
hey, I'm signing for Real Madrid. Isn't that cool? Because you're eight, it's it's a it's not a sprint pro sports. Uh, a career is a marathon, and understand how you set yourself up early in your career can really depend can can be a determining factor on how long your career actually is. You know, Seb, uh, you interviewed him not too long ago, and I was really impressed with his maturity. Uh, but if he goes down that route of being loaned out to, like, the Matt Miazga route, where he's in different leagues and he's got to prove himself, I think it's a lot better than him being in Major League Soccer in Chicago, where he's got all this media attention in his local market and probably uh, national-wise, national and he's filling his heads up, head up with this circus, with these ideas that things mm. are happening. And we're seeing a lot of these errors for the Chicago Fire that are on him, games that he's losing for the Chicago Fire. I mean, there are 10 league games right now where they've not won, and he's part of that. I think it's messing with them. So a decision going somewhere and working in that craft may be the solution. So a lot of that's... Said, the Go point ahead, is making is one of the big problems with with MLS and the way that the pay structure works and everything else is that competition for positions. I mean, you know, at, at big clubs in Europe or big ish clubs, even at that, uh, there's competition all the way around. I mean, right now, you know, Daga is going to play regardless of what happens or how bad he plays at Chicago. That's not the case. He gets an opportunity. The, the, the keeper in front of him isn't playing very well. He's going to have two or three games. And if he doesn't play well in those games, mm. he might not know when he's going to get another chance after that. So, and that's the, I think that's the point where Herc really makes a good point is, is getting into a situation where he truly has to fight and compete and be, be good every day. Because if he's not good every day, he won't play. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.